Did you know who is the sword of Allah? In 629 AD, the Holy Prophet وسلم, sent an expedition under the command of Zayd bin Harith against the Syrians. In the confrontation that took place at Mutah, Zayd bin Harith was martyred. The command then passed to Jafar bin Abu Talib and then Abdullah bin Rawaha, who too were both martyred. At that critical juncture, Khalid bin Walid took over the command and by superb strategy, he succeeded in retrieving the position and bringing back the Muslim forces safely to Medina. During the battle, it is said that Khalid bin Walid broke seven or nine swords, proving himself as a commander who led from the front. Upon his return to Medina and after his masterful display of how to conduct a tactical withdrawal, the Prophet ﷺ gave him the title of Sayyifullah or the Sword of Allah, a title he would demonstrate he was worthy of over the next decade. In today's episode of Did You Know, let's look into the life of Khalid ibn Walid, the Sword of Allah. Khalid ibn Walid was born in the year 592 CE to the horseman slash cavalry tribe of the Quraysh from the Banu Maqsum clan who ardently opposed Prophet Muhammad ﷺ while he was living in Mecca. From his early age, he developed competent skills in cavalry and archery. He was able to draw the arrow while mounted on the move with accuracy and used the spear which he used as a strong weapon against his opponents in later years, but his sword skills and speed was his forte which was a blessing from Almighty Allah. Khalid, who already enjoyed fame as a skilled and fearless fighter among his Quraysh clan, understandably lined himself against the Prophet He was sure, on the opposite side, fighting against Prophet Muhammad at the Battle of Uhud in 625 AD, which the Prophet side lost because of a last-minute stratagem devised by Khalid ibn al-Walid himself. He was 43 when he converted after reading his brother's letter urging him to convert and telling him that Prophet Muhammad asked him about him and said that Khalid's stature would still be reserved if he converted. In the 8th year of Hijrah, Khalid traveled to Medina to meet the Prophet and announced his acceptance of the Islamic faith. It is said that the first thing he had asked Prophet Muhammad was to pray to Allah to forgive anything he had done to the Muslims. He would become an ardent defender of Islam and after the demise of our Prophet Muhammad in 632 AD, he was ever upfront participating in expeditions and military campaigns, helping deal with conflicts within the Ummah and also playing a front rank role in the expansion of what would become the Caliphate of Islam. Before Khalid radiallahu an passed away, it is said that he stated, Dig my grave with this sword. Heroes take pleasure from the clanking of swords. Contrary to his desire, he passed away upon his bed. During his long military career, Khalid bin Walid entered nearly 100 battles and was not defeated in any of the battles he served as a commander. Having remained undefeated, he is considered by some scholars to be one of the finest military generals in history.